well, today I'm going to do another little experiment and um, with the tempura paint. You might have seen my last video for that. Um, but I found these sweet little um, canvases with the easel and I thought, wouldn't they make lovely presents? Either a birthday present or Valentine's or anniversary or something. So um, I've got a few of these. And I thought, well, let's have a little go and see what happens. But I, I think they look lovely if they, they're just on this little um, easel. <laughs> they're sweet. So let's have a go and see what happens. OK, so I've mixed the paint. Um, again, I'll just uh, reiterate. This is um, tempera paint, which is um, really interesting how it works with pouring. So, and I've got a whole variety of colours. So I've mixed some paint, um, just ordinary silicon spray. A lot of people ask me what I'm using, and I just get this from the DIY shop, and it's lasting forever. I just put one spray of that in each cup, and that seems to do the trick. So I'm limiting the colours today. I'm not going to use a lot of colours, and we're going to do what they call a dirty pour flip cup. So I've got some really small little cups here and um, I'm just going to use four colours. Um, so what I'm going to do here is pour a little blue in here. It's quite runny, I don't want it too thick. Um, if it's thick it tends to crack. This is a beautiful teal blue, so I'm going to put a little bit of that in. Uh, I'm going to put a tiny bit of yellow, not very much. Again, it's um, not thick at all. I don't want it to be too thick. And I'm going to add a small amount of white, literally just a little. I don't want it to be too dominated by white. And um, I've got some nice gold metallic, which um, I'm just using the, the remainder of what's in here. I've added some water and some silicone. So that's all. That's, I think there's probably going to be enough in there. Well, we'll see, won't we? <clears throat> so what we do is take the, um, the little canvas, put that on top, and I'm just going to flip it over. And I'm going to leave it like that just for a minute so the paint works its way down. And we're going to see what's going to happen. It's so sweet, these little these little canvases. Okay, so I'm going to slide it to the side and lift it up. Wow! Isn't that nice? It's really, the cells have come up really nicely on here. So I'm just going to move it around slightly. I don't want to move it too much to lose the pattern, but it would be nice if it just went over the edges a little. And that's why it's not too thick. Kind of do it quite slowly with it being so small. I'm just going to let it go over there and I'm going to put it back on the top here. It's not sitting very straight. So that's the first go, and things are coming up with that, which is really nice. And so I'm kind of quite happy with how that's going. Just with one of the sticks, I'm just going to take a little of this and fill in the edges. Just so it goes over the edge. And yeah, it's looking really pretty. Kind of happy with that. <clears throat> and it's not too thick. And it's looking pretty good. And I've got some nice cells coming up, which I'm pleased about. Um, I might just get the blowtorch and see what. So I'm just zooming in on this so you can see it a bit clearer. I've given it a li quick little once over with the. Um, I'll just do it once more. There's a few more little cells coming up with the gold, which I really like. 
and um, a few more coming here. So it's really great that you can do this with this paint. So I'm really pleased with that. You know, and it's the sort of thing, it can stand alone or, you know, I might be able to paint into that. It looks a little organic and, you know, you might be able to make something of it. But I'm very pleased with that as an experiment. So let's go and do another one and uh, we'll do it slightly differently with the next one. Okay, so this one we're going to do um, a swipe. So um, again, I'm going to use a few different colours um, just to see what's going to happen. I've got a really nice dark blue here, which I thought I might use. So that's a little bit thick, so I'm going to just pop some water in there. Um, so if you're not familiar with what happens with swiping, basically what what we do is we run the paint across and um, I'm going to do a little bit of this nice teal blue which I really like and I'm going to do some of the gold let's see what might happen And I'm going to finish with um, a lighter blue. So we'll just stick for that. And uh, let's see what happens if we do this. Could be a disaster, it could be great. So what we have to do now in order to swipe it is put the white along the top. So Running there, so let's see what's going to happen. And I'm going to swipe that down, and huh, let's see what's going to happen. So I've got this very lovely spatula here, and I'm just going to very gently move it down across like this, and you'll see. Oh, all the cells come up. Now, we've got quite a lot of white. So I'm going to let, let this that's on here drip into here. I think that would be kind of interesting because I've got some gold in there. And can you see what's happening? Let's get a... That's really nice. I really... Even, I've got even cells on here, if you can see. So I'm just going to push this down. Let's see if we can get some more into here, maybe a little bit more into here, and it's kind of dripping over the side, which is what we wanted. That's really pretty, I really like that. I love the cells that have come up with that. And let's get it over the edges. <clears throat> See how pretty it is. I'm going to just add a bit of the blue here to the side. Just, it's nice that it's over the edge. I like to see that. And I don't really want to move it because I like the cells as they are. And if I start moving it around, they'll change. So, just adding a little bit of this, just for the nice effect. And let's see, I'm just going to turn it round. It's really nice, that. I'm very happy with that. That's a lighter blue, so with that blue, I'm going to just add a bit here. Maybe take some from what's dripped off. And the canvas will absorb it, which is great. And then we might just put the torch on it and see. So you can see just with these very sweet little canvases you can get some fabulous effects and they're beautiful for little presents, you know, especially if you're just starting to paint and you know you want to tell people that you're doing 
some nice things. These are lovely little presents. <laughs> you never know, you might even be able to sell them. So, right, I think all my edges are done. And I'm just going to try, I don't know, maybe it'll work. Let's see if we can get a few more cells in that little bit there. See what comes up. The white might come up. Ah, you see what's happening there. That's interesting. It's quite magical, isn't it? Okay, I'm not going to do more to it than that. So that's the second one. I'm going to go on and try some more, which I'll show you when I've done. So, um, I've let them all dry. I ended up doing six in the end. So this was the first one. I'm really happy with it. It's come out very nicely. And there was the second one. Uh, what I've done is uh, spray varnish them. And then I'm going to go over them again with some more varnish. I just want that to really dry. And they look really pretty here on the easels and, and they're so sweet. I'm, I'm very happy with how they've turned out. And it's something that you could do very easily at home and uh, have a go and experiment so if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe and give me the thumbs up any questions just put them in the um, the comment box and i'll get back to you so hope you've enjoyed it all and i look forward to seeing you again soon thanks for watching take care now bye